Hi, my name is Steve Swartz, and either I or somebody I know has invited you out to watch this video, so I appreciate you taking the time to do so. And I'm very excited for you because uh, I, I believe when you take a look at this information, it can save you thousands and thousands of dollars and create some memories for you that will last a lifetime. So this is me. Uh, I'm a former U.S. Army officer. I, I spent seven years on active duty. I got out in 2000, and then I went into corporate America. But right before I uh, did that, I answered an ad on how to create residual income. I didn't know if it would work, but I started working with a network marketing business. I built it around my uh, full-time job at Dell Computer. I built it into a six-figure business, and in 2003, I went full-time, uh, and I was earning a multiple six-figure income. I've been doing that uh, ever since uh, since 2003. And so a couple years ago, I started over in a new business, and uh, I've become one of the top income earners in that company, and, uh, and now I'm pushing towards seven figures. So, it's, so I'm excited about all that, but you know what? You know what's really got me excited? I'm not here to talk all about myself, but I just want to give you a little credibility that you know I've been around the block. I've seen all kinds of things launch, this, that, and the other thing, and I got to tell you, I've never been more excited than what's what uh, I'm about to talk to you about right now, because I think it's going to hit near and dear to you, because you know, when I'm talking to people and the things that they're looking to do, you know the number one thing everybody wants to do? They want to travel and listen. I've been traveling over the last few years, building my business in Europe and, and around the United States. And of course, I work from home, but you know, I've traveled out there and just like I'm sure you have, whether it's with the family or whether you know, you're on business. And I don't know about you, but I, I get out there and I start searching, you know, like where do I go to Travelocity, go to Expedia, Priceline, you know, Kayak, it pulls up all the sites. I mean, I'm, uh, I've spent a lot of money at Hotels.com and I can't even count all the hours I've spent, like, you know, researching. I'm sure like you're the same. Like uh, most people I talk to, they say, well, I get on one of those sites and I look for the you know, best deals and people search and they search and they search and, and they use all of this stuff uh, trying to figure out what's the best price. But I'm going to let you in on some secrets that I just learned about recently that kind of blew my mind. And uh, I think I'm going to ruin you when it comes to travel. So uh, hang on tight, because what we're about to talk to, talk to you about is what I'm about to talk to you about is, um, is uh, an eye opener. Okay, so you know when you're, like, you're on this, this site, that little thingy starts spinning and it looks like they're, making all, they're, they're looking for the best deals? Well, guess what? That's all made up. One, the reason it's there is, you know, they got kind of, you know, I figured out, I found out that they, you know, they don't have the greatest server. So it's a little slow. And two, it's there to make you feel like they're doing something. But there's a big secret in travel. And matter of fact, when we discuss, when I show you what we're doing, you'll see how disruptive what we're doing is actually is. So there's a big secret in travel. You remember all these companies I just showed you? Well, the reality is there's two companies that own all of these companies. That's it. All the companies online, these two companies own all of it. Whether it's, and it's funny, it's even funny when you go overseas and like you're in Europe, they just change the names. That's why they all pretty much look the same, similar. And uh, when you're going out there and you're seeing it, like they might change it by a dollar you know, a dollar here, a dollar there. So it has you going back and forth looking, but really they, they do that just to make you think that they're different, but they're not. And uh, what's, uh, what's really crazy is that these two companies, Expedia and Priceline, what they have done is they basically have agreed to never publish any prices lower than they agreed upon price. So the reason they can say that they have the best deals is because they've agreed on the prices. This is a thing called price parity. Now, it's very important that you remember this price parity because it's, it's vital to how this whole thing works. What these guys do, now, look, I'll give you an example of something else. Let's just imagine, you know, we've seen it, like there's a Shell station across from a Chevron station. There's two gas stations like local right across from each other. What do they do? They basically, one will lower the, the gas by a penny and the other one will do it. And then, you know, gosh, if they keep doing that back and back and forth, they go back and forth. Eventually, you know, there's no money to be made. So what these guys did is they got smart and they said, you know what? We all make uh, different amounts of money on the back end, right? Where they get the, you know, the deals from the different hotels and things. So they all make different uh, margins on those. He's like, but if we can agree on the top end price and never publish anything that's less than that, then we can maintain our margins. And that's basically what they've been doing. And, uh, 
you know, and so that's why these are all, all the, all the prices online are pretty similar. Okay. So it's pretty crazy. When I found that out, I was like, what? No way. And so let me show you how travel really works. So let's give an example. I know the Ritz Carlton, right? I've stated a couple of Ritzes before. Nice hotels, right? When you think of the Ritz Carlton, what do you think of? Expensive. I mean, uh, you know, posh, uh, luxurious, right? Well worth it. If you could afford $1,000 a night at, at, the, at the Ritz, hey, it would be well worth it, right? Just ask the Ritz. They'll let you know. They'll tell you it is. <laughs> so, okay. So let's just look at this an example. Well, what happens is as time starts to creep up on, on the dates, the hotel managers are like, oh my gosh, uh, gosh, uh, wow, uh, we're, we're feeling pressure. Uh, you know, here comes the, you know, like the, let's say the day is the 14th, uh, you know, uh, and they're looking and they're like, wow, we got to get rid of these hotels. So what happens is they will lower the rates. But the problem with these hotels is they don't want to lower the rates so much that they look like, well, basically, if everyone knew they were lowering the rates, they would just say, you know, if they if they was if the Ritz is going for a thousand, and they go, well, shoot, we would take a hundred for it. Well, if everybody started to figure that out, what would they do? They would just wait right till the last minute, and and uh, and then everybody would try to get it last minute. It really wouldn't work out well. Plus, the Ritz doesn't want their hotel going for a hundred bucks, right? Because they don't want to see have their hotel, which they have a prestigious uh, rep reputation and there's other hotels that have the same thing. They don't want to give their hotels away for nothing. So what they do, let's say that thousand dollar hotel, what they'll do is they'll say, they'll start to drop the rates as the time. Uh, so let's say they have a bunch of hotels to fill. They'll say, well, okay, so we'll drop it down to 400. Right. And, and then all of a sudden there's a big buyer's rush. Boom. So the next day, they're like, forget it. Now next day we're going to say we're 500. And then, they start getting people to buy it at 500. Then they raise it to 600 and then 700. And then, you know, they'll, they'll start to fill all of them except for a couple. And then there's usually a couple that are like leftover that are uh, at full price. And then some sucker that has to like stay there, right? He gets zinged in the last minute and he has to pay full price and they make a boatload on him. And this is basically how travel works. Uh, you'll notice like uh, when, you're, when you're out there, you know, like looking at airline tickets, it's a typical thing, right? You know, you're looking there, you're looking like I go to, I was a Delta Diamond, right? I'm a Delta Diamond. And you're like, is today the best day to get the rates, right? There's even apps and stuff that show that, oh, this is when you can get the best dates. But you know, you, you look at it and you're like, am I getting the best deal? And so you click it and all of a sudden the next day, like, oh, it went down. Or maybe you clicked it and all of a sudden the next day it went up. You're like, wow, I did well, right? And it's kind of crazy, but this is exactly what goes on. And, you know, the Ritz, they don't want to, the worst thing any of these hotels can do is, is have an empty room because it's worthless. They actually lose money when no one's staying in the, in the rooms. Shoot, those companies would take a nickel just to get somebody in the room because, again, the person's going to be in there. They're going to buy in room service, doing all these different things. And so they don't want the rooms to be empty because that is not good. So the problem is, is like how these hotels are like, well, how do we lower the rates? And get people to buy the buy the buy the rooms, not look, but also not look like we're cheap, right? So, so and so that was a, this was a big problem they were trying to figure out, like how to how do we lower the rates to get you know so not to a level where we look cheap, but also fill the rooms. So enter the secret back end system of de, of supply and demand uh, that is is that is what all the companies out there use Expedia and Priceline and all the, they basically use this back end system and all the hotel managers, car rental places, cruise ships, you name it, every type of hotel, they use this back end system and they will put their, they will put their, um, their hotels on this, on this system. All right. And so they might put it in like one day it's 400 and the next day they say, okay, we'll take $300 for a hotel. And then they start filling them up and they say, okay, now 350 or 400, but Priceline and, and uh, Expedia have said, okay, well, we won't, we will always sell, for instance, the Hilton at this sp specific hotel. We're not going to drop it any less than 400 bucks. So maybe one day they get it. They, the, the Hilton puts it up for 200. So, they, so those companies make 200 bucks on it. Maybe it goes up to 300. So they only make $100 on it. But it's this back end system that they use. And it's kind of like one day, it's always fluctuating, right? Because of the demand and the supply that, that's available. And I'm going to show you an example of how this actually works. Because um, what the, the deal is, is these guys have actually agreed, like I said, they've agreed on the prices. So 
no matter what, what we're going to see in the top end is that these prices are, are usually the same. Okay. So this is how it really works. So let's say that, you know, we're using the Ritz Carlton. Let's say it's a thousand bucks, right? And it's a thousand dollars on their website because the Ritz is never going to publish on their website. Hey, our hotel's 300 bucks. That ain't going to happen, right? Because they have a prestige, they have a, uh, that they want to, they want to maintain. But Expedia says, well, shoot, we could discount this thing for, for, and we could sell it for 800 bucks. We always get 800 bucks for this hotel. So they, Expedia and Priceline, they've agreed on the price. Don't lower it any less than 800 bucks. Okay. And so, you know, the Ritz is starting to panic. They're like, man, we would take a nickel. So they drop their price down to 300 bucks and they put it in that back end system and Expedia and Priceline go, boom, we could sell it for 800. And then you and I, We'll look on the Ritz website. We're like, whoa, that's a thousand bucks, man. But Expedia, Priceline, they have it for 800, right? And so, boom, guess what happens? We buy it from Expedia and Expedia makes $500 on us retail. And we think we got a good deal. What's crazy is, and this is why, by the way, what's crazy is we're thanking them for paying more than we probably had to pay, okay? And, uh, and so what's crazy is this is, the, this is what's been going on. And these companies are huge. I mean, Expedia and Priceline, wow, they're uh, billions and billions and billions of dollars. I think the market cap, which is what Wall Street thinks of these companies, these two is over $100 billion. And it's because they've been making money on people like you, you and I. So basically, when we pay the $800, we have given Expedia a $500 retail profit. So, all right, well, that's great. So how does that actually, you know, what is, how do we get out of that? Well, the, the reason this has been going, you know, one of the things that, that they've been, do, they do is there's, there are travel agents that can get access to those same prices besides Expedia and Priceline, but they have to pay a lot of money, millions of dollars. And then there's, there's ongoing fees of hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. And for the average person, like you and I, it doesn't make any sense because we can't, I mean, most people can't, aren't, aren't traveling that much that they would ever need to even spend that. And so it's basically out of reach for the general public. And, and so we haven't been able to access that. Well, there's also something that when you use this back end system, you have to agree to, you have to agree to that price parity, right? That I've talked about that you'll take that you can never publish a price lower than the agreed upon price okay so they got the minimum agreed price and then the big fees keeps the general public out and then the other thing is you have to use a password protected login so you have to log into a password protected site and again the, one of the big things is you know not publishing prices that are lower than the agreed upon okay so these are the this is the way this system works well our owners of our company had a light bulb go off and they said, huh, well, instead of having to uh, come up, you know, with one, you know, big account of all like millions of dollars and not be really being uh, accessible. What if we took those big fees and we divided it by thousands of reps, right? Thousands of reps around the, around the world. What, and then instead of paying millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars, what if they all paid a nominal fee? That would equal disruptive by design. And that's basically been the theme of our company. Rx is the company we work with. And they came up with this concept. Wow, what if we could divide all of that, those big fees, that big fee, and basically have everyone pay a nominal fee? And this would become the best rewards program on the planet. And I'm about to introduce you to it because it is real, it's live, it just launched in the United States uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, this got us thinking, because you know what? People go crazy over rewards programs. I mean, let's be real, right? Like, I, I don't know, I have this little tattered piece of paper I take to the coffee shop, and like, I take it out of my wallet, and they stamp it with this little green stamp, and I, after about 12 of those, I get a free cup of coffee for $2.40, right? It's not that I can't afford a cup of coffee, it's just like, we just do this. Like, I'm a Delta, Medall I'm a Delta Diamond Medallion, so that means I've, you know, I've flown a jillion miles with Delta and you know, we all want our status. And so we're, we're loyal to these companies too. Like if you're always riding Southwest, you're probably a Rapids Rewards member. You're probably racking up all your miles. United, it's all the same, right? So people love rewards programs. And uh, if you don't think so, just think of all the ones. Oh, hey, I'm a, I'm a Hilton Honors. Hey, I'm a Marriott Rewards. And we're all trying to collect all these points and all of this stuff. And uh, you know, 
even like Starbucks, right? Like, gosh, they have the apps and stuff. And after so many Starbucks drinks, you get a free one or you get a bag of beans. And it's just crazy. You spend all this money on coffee. And why do we do it? Because we'd like to be rewarded for our loyalty. I mean, we do. And there's so many of these. Gosh, you can have Nordstrom's, all of that. But I, like I mentioned, I'm in, I'm in Delta, right? So I fly in all these miles all around the world, 125,000 miles to get, to get myself uh, the ability to do what? The ability to basically rack up miles so I can eventually take a free trip on a specific day, right? I've even tried to cash it in like, well, that's not available on these days. And then you, you fly all this stuff, you do all these things, and then you, know, you end up in a coach seat behind some guy and uh, you're like, wow, thanks so much for the free ticket. And it's just like, what are we doing? And so, you know, it's like all of that. So I'm, I'm sure you're, you, you've done something like that as well. And so how uh, are we different with our rewards program? And by the way, I'm gonna get into it exactly how it works. But how are we different? Well, when it comes to network marketing, we didn't want to become a travel network marketing business or travel MLM or whatever you want to see, want to call it. And there's a couple of reasons. One, they usually um, have exorbitant enrollment fees. So you got to pay so much, not always, but you have to pay so much up front, right? And they pay on that enroll enrollment. So in other words, you spend 700 bucks and you, they might make 300 bucks on you or something like that. And paying for enrollment fees, not so good. It gets into that kind of a pyramid -y type situation. And so you can't pay for enrollment. It's actually against the rules, but it happens. And then they have an ongoing monthly fee. So you know, instead of buying like products or something, they basically pay uh, into a fee, maybe it's a hundred bucks, $150, a couple hundred dollars. And that turns into like basically your whole annual fees uh, combined with your annual fees. Then you're able to go on to a dream trip that they, that they put together. So you end up going to a place, it's probably pretty decent, but it's not where you want to go, right? Uh, it's, and and so, so you end up on this trip and maybe you want to go on it and you're going on it with a bunch of other people that are distributors or reps of that company. And so I, it may not be horrible, but it's not exactly where you want to want to go. The other thing, the other reason we didn't want to become a travel, com a travel network marketing company is they're not open. It's actually illegal in China. In our, in our company, China is one of the biggest, is actually right now the biggest market in our business. Uh, Taiwan, it's illegal. Korea, you can't do a travel network marketing company. Also, there's countries in Europe. So we didn't want to even mess with any of that stuff. And, and so, and, you know, and we didn't want to become travel agents. I'm sure you don't want to be a travel agent necessarily. And so, um, and so this is why we're not doing a travel network marketing company. And I want to introduce you to the way we're doing it here with RX Travel and how it's the best rewards program. Remember, people like rewards. And so um, this is what the back end looks, the back, excuse me, when you log in, this is what the RX Travel site looks like. I've been using it. I'll talk about one of the experiences I just had. But you can find hotels, uh, cruises, cars. I mean, cruises at like half the price, right? Um, hotels, um, over 400,000 hotels around the world. So it pretty much go anywhere you want to go. Um, flights, homes you can rent. Um, weekly stays that like you, you have to like take a double take and say, is that even true? Excursions and activities. And again, I said car rentals. I, I had a friend that saved, just saved $300 yesterday. You booked car rental through the system and saved $300 off of the published price that he would normally have paid. So this thing is very valuable and I want to, I'm, I'm, so I'm going to get in here and talk about it. And again, we're not using a system like what Expedia and Priceline use. We are using their exact system, okay? The only difference is we can't advertise. Like we can't make Trivago type commercials. We've agreed to do that and we have a, uh, and so, and we, and because we're word of mouth and we have a secure login to see the system, uh, that's how we got access to this. And then we all pay a nominal fee to have access to this travel. So I'll talk about what that looks like here in a sec. But the top benefits, price guarantee. If you find a hotel cheaper online, we promise to credit you 110% of the difference. And there's over 400,000 plus, 400, plus hotels uh, save on all top hotel and resort brands anywhere in the world. This is for real, okay? And that's why our CEO, Fred Cooper, uh, said this is the biggest uh, day in our company's history and a day that will send shockwaves around the industry. Um, and this is how it simply works, okay? For every dollar spent with RX, right? RX gives back a $1 reward, a, a reward dollar, okay? So if you buy a product and it's $20, they give you $20 back in travel dollars, including the shipping and taxes for products or 
and I'll show you also how you can, do, you can travel without buying any products and things like that. I'll show you that as well. But this is an amazing rewards program because when people first see this, they start to think, man, this is too good to be true. Matter of fact, I'll probably have done a good job if you think this is too good to be true. All right. So um, it's that simple. You spend a buck with RX, you get a dollar, a travel reward dollar back. And it gets better. So let's say the first four weeks, you come in and you're interested in being a rep. I'll show you how to be a customer. I'll show you how to be a rep, okay? Uh, I'll, and I'll show you the differences. But anything you order in the first four weeks, they double the reward dollars. So if you ordered uh, $400 in products, uh, then you would get 800 travel dollars, all right? So that's how that works over the first four weeks, okay? Even your membership that you buy, they double it. Anything you do, if you went to an event, you bought a t-shirt, I don't even know if we sell t-shirts, but if we did, any, any dollar spent at RX, they give you travel dollars. It's crazy. So for instance, these are some of the products, some of the, what the products look like. So you, normally people would be in a company or whatever, they'd be buying products. You, you probably use shampoo, conditioners at your house. You probably use toothpaste. You might take some supplements. You might drink water. You might use some kind of skincare. Uh, and so when we use those products, we buy those products, they go into our rewards dollars uh, bank account and we can turn that into travel and travel like you've never seen before. So again, again, let's say somebody came into RX, they said, yeah, I get this business. I want to get going. And they bought the, an elite pack. This is one of the enrollment. This is a, 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 a basically a, a pack that you can, you can use to get started the business. And it's, let's say it's 1250 bucks. Then you would get $2,500 in your reward bank. This is just an example. Okay. Now let's look at that. Right? So, let's say we look up a hotel in Dubai and for the week it's $2,000 on the company's website. Well, Priceline and Expe Priceline Expedia, they say, well, we're, we're taking 1800 for that. So everyone, your brother, your friends, everybody, you know, not, I don't care. Maybe they have a little Marriott's rewards or one of these things. I don't even care about that. Everyone's paying this price. Okay. And so they're paying this price. Everybody, you know, now, Let's say that you had that travel rewards bank of $2,500 travel dollars. Well, what Rx wants to do is we don't want to, they don't want to make money on travel, right? Uh, what they want to do is they want people loyal to buying their products. Okay. And so what they're doing is they're basically, they're, they're normally like in the, over the past years, I've been buying products and they were, they were great, awesome products, but now they're even more valuable because now they're putting this travel dollar on them. So again, let's back this up. So hotel in Dubai, two grand. Priceline says 1800, everyone's paying that price. So this is what it looks like. You have your piggy bank there full of $2,500 in, in travel dollars and RX reward dollars, you're gonna apply $1,000 to this and you actually pay $800 out of your pocket. So you, so you applied a thousand reward dollars out of your travel dollars. And we use that instead of RX making uh, money on the retail, right? Like, like basically Priceline's making, uh, you know, a thousand dollars on this, right? Remember 1800 bucks. Everyone else is paying. This is what the problem, the price is $800. So we, we apply a thousand travel dollars there and we pay 800 bucks. So when you go to the hotel, you spend $800, it gets even better. You spend 800 bucks out of your own pocket. When you spend that, they give you 800 travel dollars back and it reloads up your, your, uh, your travel uh, rewards bank. Okay. So and the cycle never ends. All right. So let's say it's, and it's perpetual, right? So now you have 2,300 uh, travel dollars. You've already gone to Dubai. You're looking good. And all of a sudden the family says, let's go to Vegas. You're looking up at like one of the hotels there. You're like, man, it says 2,600 on the website. Expedia uh, has it for 2,400. Uh, we can get, get it for $900. So then you would apply $1,300 out of your rewards bank. Boom. And you would actually pay 900 bucks. Remember, Everybody else is paying $2,400, okay? So uh, you're getting it for 900 bucks. You put 1,300 out of your rewards dollars and you spent $900 on your car, your credit card or whatever, and they give you back $900. So every time you travel, so there's two ways to get travel dollars. Buy products, you get travel dollars for buying products and you get travel dollars for actually traveling and spending money on the trip. So this is pretty cool because this is how it works. And these are some, uh, this is an example. Uh, I blurred everything out so you're not seeing the dates, you're not seeing like the hotel, but right here, the public price, 2,600. This was a trip in the past. And uh, if you had a thousand, if you had 1,106 travel dollars from RX, 
you would pay fourteen ninety five. So again, what did you what did you do to get this? You bought some products from RX, okay? Or you had previous travel, like you traveled somewhere and it cost you a thousand bucks, and now you have a thousand dollars in travel dollars, okay? So sorry about that. So, um, so the public's paying twenty six hundred. You're getting it for fourteen ninety five. That's crazy, right? Um, another one, twenty seven fifty. That's what all the prices. And by the way, when I saw some of these, I went and checked. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to one of the sites and check it out. That was the price. I was like, wow. And so you would pay $1,600. Everybody else is paying $2,750. So the more products you use, the more you save on travel. Every time you take your supplements, brush your teeth, or wash your hair, you're putting reward dollars in your bank for your next vacation. Listen, even if you go to booking and our system has the same exact price, you get travel dollars with us that are real dollar savings. I just showed you. Those are real dollar savings, right? So you ordered products that you got. Heck, you could even sell the products if you wanted to. That would be even making more money, right? So every time you use uh, products, you're getting travel dollars. When you travel, you're getting travel dollars. There's no other system like this. And as I was saying, even if two prices are the exact same, like, I don't know, it's on booking, it's 400 and our system is 400. You pay $400 out of your own pocket. You would have anyways on booking, okay? You get 400 travel dollars in your reward bank and it's just awesome. So it's impossible to lose with RX because you can simply get a membership and just travel. You just won't get as good a savings as a rep does, but you still get better savings than the public does. You can buy products. Shoot, like I said, you probably brush your teeth, you know, the Kroger or uh, Whole Foods or wherever you're buying your toothpaste, uh, you're not getting it, right? You're not getting the same thing. And I know everyone thinks they have the greatest products inside of network marketing. All I'm going to say about that is if you're buying products from another company in network marketing, you can like them, but they're not giving you travel dollars that are going to save you money uh, big time. And so there, here's a couple tips, by the way, on how to book your travel. Uh, so don't book too soon. So if you're like, I'm going to book out like 10 months from now, I've actually seen some decent de deals like that. But about 90 days out is probably uh, where you, when you should book because as you know, because of the, uh, the time crunch and that kind of stuff. So don't, you know, super plan it out, you know, and all that kind of stuff, you know. And the other thing is, is, you know, don't predetermine your location because you may find that you're thinking of going to Orlando, but a trip to Hawaii is actually cheaper. Or you're thinking about, you know, typical, we're always going to go to Orlando. Maybe you could go to Italy. Okay, so look for the best deals. And when you log in the site, it actually has like specials. Hey, save this much in Dubai, save this much in, uh, you know, at Disney and that kind of stuff. So there's some deals out there. And so you just kind of do a little searching, right? And, uh, and be flexible with your travel dates, right? Um, like if somebody says to me, hey, Steve, give me the uh, Marriott downtown San Diego tomorrow night. Well, because of that back end system, right? The Marriott might be full, so I might not have a really good deal, or it might be the same, or maybe it's 30 bucks. But because I get travel dollars when I buy it through our system, it's cool. So, so sometimes hotels aren't on there just because of the supply and demand, all right? Uh, and so just think about that. Don't be like, oh, I didn't see my hotel on there. This can't thing. No, it's because that hotel is, is filled up, right? And so um, uh, it's interesting. Like Fred Cooper was talking. Check this one out. Fred Cooper, our CEO. They're going to the Amer his wife was just like she was like determined that they're going to go to the Americanas. They're taking like seven people for the whole spring break. And the price was like $15,000. Okay. And so they're like, oh my gosh, right? She's like, no way. And, and she wanted to go to the Americanas, but it wasn't on the system. It just wasn't there. It wasn't, it wasn't available. And also she's picking probably the worst time, spring break, where, where everyone's already like determined that they're going to go. Well, anyways. She kept looking and kept looking and like all of a sudden, boom, Americana's popped up and she got it for six grand. She saved 9,000 bucks. And this is for real, okay? So just think about that. And don't be tied to like a certain hotel, as I mentioned, uh, a certain car rental. I always go over this car rental because, you know, you could get some pretty good deals. Uh, but all these, all, these, uh, all these are available. But don't, you know, be flexible with your provider. Sometimes you'll find a hotel that's four stars you've never heard about that gives you a heck of a deal, gives you a better, gives you a cheaper rate for a better, but, a, but maybe you don't, maybe it's not a Marriott, maybe it's a, lo, a local hotel, but they give it, maybe it's even a boutique and you get a four star and a nicer room than you would pay uh, at the other place. So 
ARCS gives and you save. Again, what their goal is to make you, you know, for being loyal and buying products from the company, they want you to enjoy those, okay? And so that's why they're willing to do this. So you can just be a, simply be a traveler, right? I'll talk about how you can do this, right? So how could you do it? Like, how can you take advantage of this? Uh, you could be a preferred customer that pays 128 88 and that fee goes to the back end system. That doesn't go to RX. That goes to the back end system, and it gives you access to now access the back that system, right? So you can back, you can go in there, and you get access to it, and uh, and it starts you with double the amount of travel dollars back. I'll show that here. And someone who's not active in the business. This is also someone who's not active. But let's and you can access fifty percent of the savings. So if I could save sixty percent on something, you would save thirty percent but still it's better than the public price. That's a Sapphire traveler. So it's kind of like a preferred customer. And then there's a diamond travel traveler. This is an RX representative who pays the same fee, 128.88 to access the system and gets double the amount of travel dollars back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, double for the first, uh, for the, basically for the first uh, four weeks they're in, they're in, they, they, they're in the business. Okay. And that also applies to the Sapphire if they order products. So the first four weeks, anything they order, they get double the travel dollars. So they earn travel dollars each month for just being active. That means that you can make commissions in the company and that's about a, you know, 120 bucks or 75 points to stay active. Okay. So then you get hundred percent and uh, by being active, you accumulate your travel dollars for buying products, okay? Um, like I use pretty much all the products, right? And so uh, now I'm accumulating travel dollars every time I buy them, it's pretty crazy. So, and we can access 100% of the savings, okay? So I'll show you again how this works. So let's say the Marriott, on their website, they publish 700, but in the back end system, it's 200 bucks. Expedia says, shoot, we can get 600. So they rack it up and they're making $400 on the general public pull us, we, we could get it for $200. So um, that, and we would apply some travel dollars like, and the Sapphire, they would basically get to get it for 400. So they get 50% of the biggest savings. So if the total savings, you know, like for instance, we could get it for 200, Sapphire will get it for 400, but they still get it better than the, the, all the public. So simply you could get your membership and uh, right here. Uh, so this is how it works for a preferred customer and you just want to travel You're like Steve, forget your products. I don't want to hear about them, whatever. Okay. No problem. All right. You can be a Sapphire traveler, a Sap tra Sapphire traveler, someone who just wants to travel. They pay 128 88. And because that's the first thing you've ordered, they double it. So now you have $256 in your travel bank and you can look on there and start finding some deals. Now you might pay a little more the first time you travel because you don't have a lot of travel dollars in your bank. But let's say you found a deal. I don't know. Uh, it was uh, 1200 bucks or something like that, roughly 1250. And uh, you could get it for, you could get it for a um, thousand. You apply this 250 travel dollars. And then when you travel, you spend a thousand dollars out of your pocket you would then get a thousand, you go on the trip, then you would get a thousand travel dollars in your rewards bank. So then it would start to rack up. So once you start traveling, then those reward dollars will back up, will, will start to rack up. You don't lose them long as you have like, as long as you have a membership, it's 128 bucks, right? Long as you have that membership. So like the next year you renew it, you're always uh, keeping your rewards bank, okay? Um, you can, uh, so a customer joins as a software, Sapphire traveler, they get this and they want to be a, uh, like they want to be a preferred customer. Okay. So preferred customer who also wants to buy products. They're still a Sapphire traveler, except as what, what they do is they can, they can collect. So they, they basically buy their membership as the, as a, as the person who just wanted to travel. Right. So they, they get their membership, 256 travel dollars in their bank. But let's say they say, you know what, man, like, like Hannibal, he's like, this is my friend Hannibal. He's like, you know what, man, I don't want to go to the beach with my dad bought. I want to, like, I want to get rid of that. And, uh, uh, you know, so he wants to get some of our weight loss drops. And so he starts on the weight loss drops and he starts ordering those. If he ordered them all year, or maybe he had some other products that he was ordering, he would continue to rack up uh, points. So if he did his first order for $120, uh, he would get 240 reward dollars. Plus, remember, he had this also. So he has about 500 travel dollars now in his account. And let's say, he, you know, he gets in shape. This is actually his transformation. Check this out. So he's using our products. And in like 60 days, this is how he looked. Crazy, right? So now he's lean and mean. He's like, you know what? I love that shake. By the way, that's the best taking, tasting shake, the cleanest shake on the market. Uh, I mean, it's, it's freaking amazing. But it's only like 21 bucks. It's called, it's called uh, Pure Nourish Boost. And so let's say he goes, you know what? 
Um, I'm not going to keep buying those drops. I don't need them anymore, but I want to just keep buying this product for 21 bucks. Well, he'll also collect here. So he doesn't have to have a minimal order. He's a customer. He can order whatever he wants. As long as he has an order of anything, it could be a, a $10, a $7, $10 toothpaste, whatever. As long as he has an, an order repeating, then he will always be accumulating his travel dollars. Okay. All right. So that's how that works. Um, so once you travel, you receive any out of uh, money uh, spent back. So again, he travels, he spends a thousand bucks, he gets a thousand bucks back in his travel uh, uh, rewards bank. And again, for, for him, uh, you know, if he had a thousand travel dollars and a few le little bit left over, he could take advantage of some of these amazing trips like I showed before. Okay. This is one I looked at uh, as well. And this was for like a family of five. And if you could accumulate even more travel dollars, like 3,200, well, guess what? You'd pay two grand where other people spent $5,300 on, on, uh, on the price. So these are real prices that I've seen and uh, et cetera. So let's say you want to be a representative. So that's how you be a customer. You can just simply buy the, the access and you save 50%. If you want to order products, you also will accumulate travel dollars from buying products. So that's how you can do it. Okay. So that's how, that's how you, you can get back to the person and they can show you how to do that. Now, let's say you wanted to make money like me. I was like, man, how do I get out of corporate America ASAP, right? So this is why we wanted to introduce, I'm going to cover the company real quick. Uh, this is, you know, we're disrupted by design. And you know what? If you're like most people, chances are you would like to have more time freedom. That would be nice, right? You know, I remember I was working at Dell and then the, like in a month they had layoffs. Boom. People were making like 120 grand income gone, right? So when you stop working, you stop earning. And this is where a lot of people find themselves. Like, how do I, do I keep working forever? They have the linear income, right? And what you want to work for is residual. But a lot of people are like, how do I get residual income? There's real estate, there's stocks and these things like this. But, and there's other ways to make it as well. But one of the best ways for the average person is to create residual income in network marketing. I've seen it, guys. I've, I've had uh, multiple six-figure residual income for many, many years, and it took it took work. I didn't just I didn't just show up, right? But you're going to work anyways. But the bottom line is, if you don't have residual income, you need to get it because when you stop working, maybe you have a business and it relies a lot on you, and so when you're not there, your income kind of drops off. You want to get that income where you work and the income continues to steady, steady increase. Matter of fact, in our current opportunity, RX. My residual income keeps going up. I've been doing this for a few years. This is crazy. And like I'm 48 now. I've been earning this kind of residual income the last 15 years. So I'm telling you, most people I run into, they don't have it. They don't have that residual income. But see, what happens is they let other people or situations say, ah, yeah, this kind of stuff doesn't work. No. Don't listen to someone who hasn't done it. Listen to someone who has done, has done it. I was a top income earner last year in the U.S. Um, one or two, I, I'm like one or two in the US every year now, uh, and a top 10 income earner worldwide. Um, I also get part ownership in, a, in two different markets in the United States and also in Europe. First person to get multiple founderships. So our company, as you start to grow a, a big business, they will give you a piece of the, uh, of the profits of, of, of that market for the rest of your life which is pretty crazy. No company out there. Again, that's disruptive by design. And that goes back to the true ownership and protection. I don't know if you know, if you've been inside of network marketing, but there's a lot of little things that people don't realize when they sign up that companies can change all the rules. They can change the products. They can change the formulations without you even knowing about it. And there's nothing you can do about it because you've agreed to it. So let's say you're building a big income and the company changes the product completely. Well, you agreed that they could change the company. They could change anything in the company whenever they wanted to. In our company, that's not possible. And so there's a lot of things where they came out with this bill of rights where it was more of an equal uh, partnership. Most companies in network marketing, yeah, there's people that make really good money, but they're basically glorified salespeople. And yeah, they can still earn residuals, but they're not really uh, in control of their business. And, uh, and, there's, and, and companies can go retail. Rx has it written in their rules. They could never become a retail company. And if you think it doesn't happen, shoot, I could name two or three companies that just happened to recently. So this is cool because if you build a business, you want to know what's going to be there, even for your kids and down the road, all of that kind of stuff. Even as me as a founder and earning part ownership, I can pass that down to my kids and it keeps perpetually going. And you know, it's pretty cool. We've, uh, we've been basically 
rated the number one compensation plan over the last uh, last few years. We pay out higher than anybody else in the industry. So we, so it's good to know that if you're going to work hard, get paid the best. Okay, I'm not going to get into all the details of this, but you know, there's eight ways to earn. Huh. Now there's nine ways to earn with the travel. So we've been uh, we've gotten a lot of accolades, one of the top co uh, 100 companies over the last few years. And, uh, and that just goes to the fact that, you know, we've had a global appeal. We can do business in multiple markets. Um, I'm going over to Europe tomorrow, actually, uh, to launch uh, France. It's pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, just you never know what could happen for you. And, um, and so what I would say, though, is in the United States, it's wide open. It's wide open all around the world. It's for the person that wants to dig in, build a business in multiple markets, multiple areas around the United States, and build a, a huge income. So it's definitely possible, and it's right in front of us. And what the great part is, is the people that own our company, these are the owners, they actually ran... Uh, all but Deanna here in the middle. She makes our products. Uh, she's a product officer. All of these people are experts in their area. And they already worked at two companies that, went, that are now billion-dollar network marketing companies. So Fred Cooper, our CEO, he actually worked as the president of a company that's now a billion dollars. He, he helped raise it up as a corporate person, as a, you know, on the corporate side, from 20 million to over 600 million. They decided that they wanted to change things. They wanted to disrupt the industry. They wanted to make it all these rule changes. They wanted to do everything and, and really change the way network marketing is done. And by the way, that rewards program is crazy. Fred and these guys came up with it. And, um, and so these are our fearless leaders. They know what they're doing and uh, they've got our company uh, going north, right, at big time. And so, you know, we've been steadily uh, uh, progressing, 43 million, 74. Last year we did 178 million. We just acquired another uh, network marketing company. We just acquired them. Uh, and now we'll probably be well over 300 million this year. And the people that do that are people like you and me. All right. And so this is an exciting time. If you wanted to be in front of something that's going to go huge, just think about this. How many people do you know that want to travel? Like everybody. Okay. So everybody's going to want to know about this, right? Not everybody always wants to hear about weight loss and nutrition and skincare. There's resistance there. You can still build a big business. I've made multiple six figure business with that, but travel, mm, travel is cool. Right. And this thing is about to blow up, but I, I know everyone says their products are the best and blah, blah, blah. But I just want to let you know, our products actually are some of the, the is the cornerstone behind our business. We have partnerships with world-renowned nutrition, health, and life, lifestyle experts. Um, we have rigorous third-party testing. We have so many certifications. It's out. It's just crazy. And so, um, you know, this is, what, you know, these are some of the brands that we have. Rx is an opportunity company, all right? And what does that mean? It means we didn't want to get pigeonholed into one area. I mean, now we have RX Travel. That's crazy. But we have our weight loss brand called Slender Eyes. Let's face it. If you're going to go travel, don't you want to get in some shape? Do you want to take your shirt off at the pool? I mean, I'm working on that one right now. So, like, that's huge, right? Uh, nutrition. Listen, when you start to understand, like, what's in our foods today, you're not getting all the nutrition you need. We have got some flagship products in there. And these are products, GMO-free, all those, all those buzzwords. Every single raw ingredient in our supplements is GMO-free. Our, our, our skincare, Jove. Right, those are three products that basically will replace about ten products in your uh, medicine cabinet, right? Because these products absolutely work, uh, and and they work fast. But they're also some of the cleanest products on the market. Water, air filtration. You know, we have uh, everybody drinks water, but do you know that most water, like tap water, is terrible. Most bottled water is tap water, and um, there's all kinds of pharmaceuticals and all kinds of different things in these things. And uh, you know, you should avoid that at all costs. Those crinkly bottles that people use, when you drink a half a teaspoon of one of those crinkly water bottles, like you get at Costco or Dasan, whatever, all those companies, it reduces your testosterone for up to six hours. That's enough for you to be drinking out of the water bottle, like I'm drinking out of right now. We have a prime line, a line called Prime that has essential oils. We didn't want to become an essential oils company, but we know that there's very valid and ours are multifunctional. So they do multiple things, helps with sleep, helps with like the headaches, uh, relieves, you know, muscle tension. Like if you have a muscle, if your muscles ache, uh, we have products for that. And then uh, shampoo, conditioner, and a fluoride free toothpaste. So uh, this is a really clean line. Come on, you're using a body wash or some kind of shampoo now, conditioner, uh, toothpaste but you're not getting paid travel dollars and you are here with RX. What's interesting is we just have, because we've been doing so well, we just had this company merge with us. So we just got this whole new line 
of uh, skincare called Nucerity. Uh, it was a company that's done about $30 million a year, and they just joined us. And so that boosted the bottom line and gives us a whole other opportunity and a product range that you could earn travel dollars from. And again, we just launched this RX Travel, as I've been talking about, and it is exciting. And again, travel is so huge. In case you didn't know, billions of people are, are billions of trips are, are booked by uh, Americans every year, $2.3 trillion in the U.S. in international travel. So people want to travel, and then people spend about 10% of their annual earnings on travel, okay? But here's the crazy part. People aren't really driven by destination. They're, they're driven by the best deal they can get. So Here's what you can take away from this. It's a huge opportunity. We just kind of cracked the code and opened the door to getting savings like you've never seen before. So people want to travel. Everybody wants to travel. And people want to save money on travel. Well, I think they found the best program. And again, I'm going to cover a little bit of a couple of the products that I, I think that um, have had big impact on people. But I wanted to you know, talk to you a little bit about this because we have all these different certifications, uh, informed sports, um, consumer labs, NSF international certifications. We're in the physician's desk reference, our PETA uh, cruelty-free certifications, our skincare environmental working group. That is one of the hardest standards to, to uh, maintain is what they, you know, they look at, they look at, they're very, they scrutinize skincare very big and we have one of their best scores and uh, you'd be surprised at some of the stuff that people use and how bad they score with all the pegs and all the different chemicals that are in there we don't have any of that stuff okay and so again these are a lot of different certifications when we make our products we make them in an fda approved facility fda does not regulate nutrition they treat it as a food but we follow standards that drug companies make that's why we have over the over otc which is over the counter certifications by the way we pay for all these things to happen most companies don't do that. They don't have this at GNC. Uh, most network marketing companies don't even have half of these certifications. Uh, nutrition companies out there, they don't do it because it costs too much and their products don't meet the standards. Because if you have, uh, like, uh, you have some of these companies come in and actually look at your products, like OTC, they can come in and they can pull our products off the shelf, check what's on the labels in there. And if it's not, um, then we lose our, we lose our certifications and we never know when they're coming. So that's why, you know, we, and we always pass with flying colors and that's important because when you're giving products to people like MOA, MOA is this 36 superfoods. And I think if I talk to you about like, what do people talk about most around the world? They love MOA and it's this on the go product, which is great for travel as well. You can take it, you get 36 superfoods from around the world and it's actually the real product. It's not like some freeze dried powders, but there was an issue we had with it. It was like, how do we make Make this so that it doesn't have preservatives in it in there and uh, and and it was a problem because nobody could figure this out and you can see people in everyday life enjoying it from you know nurses and doctors police officers people traveling at ball games and just enjoying it around the world uh and this is what what all that that moa does it helps us anti-aging you know that's huge healthy digestion Reduces stress, that's nice. Uh, brain uh, and cognitive function, healthy joints and bones. And it has turmeric, you heard that. That's like a buzzword out there. Well, we have a lot of these ingredients like lion's mane and these different things that do amazing things for people. Go Google lion's mane and see what that does. Okay, I can't even make the claims about it. But we have all these ingredients in here and they're at, a lot of them are at clinical dosages. So when there's a study and a, a clinical dose, dose of that ingredient, gets massive results, we put it in our product at that uh, clinical uh, dose. And I talked to you a second ago, I was, I was starting to talk about the, uh, the, the preservative. Well, all liquid products out there use basically sodium benzoate and all that kind of stuff to preserve their products, which is not the best thing. We didn't like it, but we worked for 18 months, asked companies, could they change? Could they figure it out? No one could figure it out. So we went into the laboratory and we decided to create Natrix. It's the first ever all natural preservative that uses um, uh, spices and essential oils to preserve the product and has 18 months shelf life. I believe that's true, but I think, I think that's how much it is. But the bottom line is we don't have all those chemicals all the other liquid products have. And we have the patent on this. Nobody else figured this out in the entire nutrition industry except RX. And that's amazing. Another product, is Rejuvenex. The reason I talk about this product is because it has an immediate impact. You have, you put four of these, you take four of these products, excuse me, four of these, uh, four Rejuvenex tablets and capsules, I should say, and you will feel 
immediately like not jittery, but you'll be like laser focused. And that's what's cool about this. It's all it has all these different superfoods in here, but it has green coffee bean extract and L-theanine so that like you're, you're, yeah, you're alert, but you're not like jittery, right? Because let's face it, how many people you see walking out of stores with monsters and, and Red Bulls and all that? And they say they don't do it, but they do. And all those things are really bad for you. They're, they cost a lot. And our product is actually uh, less expensive. Plus, you don't get all the calories and you're not putting your body through all those sugar crashes and all that stuff. So this product's really relevant. A lot of people use it. And the other one I wanted to talk about is Slenderize because this product is amazing. No one else has anything like it. Most companies are doing some kind of like a shake diet or something like that. And what we did is we have homeopathic products that are actually all natural, the Slender X and Accelerate. You put them under, under your tongue before you eat, makes it so you're not as hungry, but also increases your energy and it starts to target belly fat. And we get massive results like this. This is my friend, Dell. He's up in the left-hand corner. Dell's like, I don't know. You know how it is, your buddy. He's like, hey man, you should do this whole program. He's like, oh, whatever, I'm not doing it. You know, Okay, I'll do it. So then, so he did, and uh, he didn't look, I mean, honestly, I didn't think he looked that bad in the, on the left. Like he's like, oh, you know, it's pretty good. And so. At 53 years old, he dropped 43 pounds in about 60 days with only exercise he did was walking. And he goes, the reason I took this picture, Steve, by the way, he has a six pack on the other side, which is amazing. He's never had a six pack in his life. And he's like, it's crazy because I wanted to get a six pack. But the reason he has his back turned is because he goes, you can't suck in your back, right? And you probably can't even listen to me right now because you're looking at these guys like Sid on the right. Sid lost 220 pounds in a couple of years on our program. He completely changed his life. I, uh, and on our team, we have like over, th I think we have three people that have lost over 200 pounds and over a hundred people, excuse me, 200 people that have lost over 100 pounds. So yeah, it's been crazy. I just want to show you some of these cases. Lisa down on the left, she's paralyzed from the, um, the from the show, from basically the chest down. She can move her arms, but she got in an accident. And then over time she gained all this weight with all the meds and all these different things. She got turned on to our products. And in one year, she dropped 135 pounds. Looks like a completely different person. So these products have impact with people. And these are a couple of uh, veterans that I've been working with. This is uh, Sean. He's a 24-year uh, Navy Naval Reservist. So he's still in the Naval Reserve, senior chief. And uh, he's a full-time detective. And now he says, I'm back to my weight. And he lost 20. He, he's now lost like 30 pounds. He goes, I'm back to my weight I, when I went in the academy. And this is just recent. Like this is just last couple months. Here's a guy, Chris. Chris is an active duty uh, sergeant at, uh, in Fayetteville, North Carolina at Fort Bragg. And he goes, skeptical from the beginning, but after melting 36.8 pounds of belly fat in 60 days with no exercise other than walking, I'm now a true believer and the product of the product. So he's all fired up, man. He's, he's loving it. And he's earning travel dollars. And this is, uh, this is a guy, uh, Hannibal. Uh, I just met Hannibal this past weekend. I'd never met him before. And he started over like Thanksgiving. And by February, he had dropped gosh, uh, now he's down 66 pounds. He just won this weight loss contest the company had, picked up about 1,700 bucks. It was pretty crazy. But look at the difference. Like, look at the difference. Because these products helped me drop 63 pounds without starving or endless cardio so I can be a better father, husband, and business owner. He's from Washington, D.C. He's a former Black Hawk pilot, and now he's a sales executive, does medical device sales. And I talked to him. I said, well, hey, man, get on these products. And he goes, oh, you know, I'm not looking for this right now. But he did it. And look what he, how he changed his life. And uh, it's pretty amazing. And so that's what I love. So again, we get results for people. But listen, if you're not interested in products, hey, you can be a customer. Join as a Sapphire Traveler and you'll get your travel reward dollars for your membership. You'll be able to go in there, look at different travel deals. Maybe you'll pay a little more in the first, but then as you start to uh, accumulate travel, for, uh, travel dollars for traveling, uh, then your membership will become very valuable. Again, you save 50%. Uh, than you know, compared to someone who's a rep, right? So that's what you can do. And if you want to buy some products, then you'll also uh, you'll you'll uh, you'll you'll basically get travel dollars. Now to become a rep in RX, it's thirty bucks, all right. But you want to get activated, and that is about one hundred and fifty dollars. But uh, excuse me, one hundred and fifty points to do that. But what I did is I said, you know what? Let's put these products I just talked to you about together, and let's put some packs that you can get immediate impact with the program. So for about. 370 bucks, 355. There's a pack here for 355. You can get started with our program. All right. You're going to get the, the boss, right? For 29.95. You're going to add one of these packs, figure out which one you want. And that's about 400 and something dollars depends on shipping and taxes. And remember, we earn travel dollars on shipping and taxes and you get double. So this is your first order. 
boom, you'll get over 800 travel dollars in your account just became much more valuable, okay? And then you would set up your auto delivery so that you can maintain, uh, so you can be commission qualified at 75 points, about $120. And let's just imagine that that's what you ordered every single month, every all year. You would accumulate over $1,400 in your travel bank just for ordering products that you wanna use, all right? Now, if you're building the business and maybe you're like, you know what, I'm, like the business isn't for me, but I wanna maintain my travel dollars. Well, you could drop down and you won't be commission eligible. You won't be able to earn commissions uh, from the business. But you could order a toothpaste, as long as you had that, uh, some order of anything. It could be one prime oil. You'll maintain your travel dollars. And that maintains also for customers, okay? So that's how it works. You know, what's not to smile about? Any order keeps your travel dollars going. You know, you even get rewarded for taxes and shipping, okay? So that's pretty cool. And then once you're a rep, right? So once you decide to become a rep, you're inside the system, you can log in, hit the little travel icon, pay your 128.88, get 258 travel dollars, and then start uh, going on there and start booking five-star trips for two-star prices. And trust me, when your Instagram or your Facebook looks like this picture, people are gonna be asking me, asking you, what are you doing, right? And we're excited about this uh, because you know what? If you wanna save money on travel, we got you hooked up. If you wanna save money and make money, awesome. If you wanna feel better, look better, uh, like Hannibal and uh, some of my other friends that have, have, have done this, then we've got your back as well. And so go back to the person who sent you this and let them know what you wanna do, what, what's, what are the three ways you wanna go? Do you wanna be a Sapphire traveler and just travel? Do you wanna be a preferred customer? that actually that buys not only the, not only gets a travel membership, but also uh, buys some products? Or do you wanna be a rep? And let them know that right away because we look forward to uh, uh, working with you. We have a lot of support and uh, we're excited about what's going on. And, and again, I want you to think about travel. You know, one of the best benefits of creating the residual income over the years is my ability to be able to travel all over. That's my, my family in the Turks and Caicos. That's us on a cruise. Took my daughter for a week uh, in, in England and did an event with my team over there. Took my son to see the, uh, see the uh, Seattle Seahawks play like on Christmas Eve up in the public market. And, you know, travel changes you. You can, you can sit there and watch stuff on TV. But when you experience the Turks and Caicos Islands out in the Caribbean, it's crazy. The water is like insane, you know? And so, uh, you know, I've been to the Caymans and I had my parents go with us and, you know, your kids get to experience these things and it is what creates memories. And that's why they say to, you know, to live is to travel. Right. And so, uh, you know, hopefully for your family, you can start taking advantage of this and go out there and whoever you want to, you know, travel with create massive memories. And uh, we look forward to helping you do that. And if you want to take some products along the way, boom, do it because they're well worth it. You're going to impact people as well with that. All right. So if not now, when, you know, like, just think about that. If not now, when are you going to do it? You know, Hannibal told me, no, I ain't doing it. I'm not ready. Shoot. Look at him now. Now he's on fire. And guess what? Everyone's asking him how he lost weight. And by the way, he says, you know what? I can actually help you save on travel. And people are like, what? And so just think about that. What are you going to be? Where are you going to be a year from now? Will you have traveled some, to some cool places? Well, you can if you work with us. Because all I know is there's two types of people in the world. There's people who pay retail for travel, right? They pay that markup and they give it to booking. And they give it to all the sites. Heck, even if you do it with Marriott Rewards and you book on their site, you're still not getting travel dollars. So again, there's two types of people in the world, those that pay retail for travel and those that are with RX. So hopefully you'll join us and get back to the person who invited you out here and get started with us as soon as possible. And I can't wait to be traveling the world with you, hearing your stories and seeing how everything's gone. So everybody, again, I'm Steve Swartz. Thanks so much. Look forward to meeting you and we'll chat you soon. Bye-bye.